right guys so we're taking a look at the pico pro marine life spotlight from reef smart some of the things to note about this product is the dimensions which is 9.5 in diameter it is a 24 volt light and 24 watt the cable length on this guy is four feet and matches most standard one to two gallon jars and it goes into a little bit more uh, detail here on the back talks about the uh, dimmable light it also has a diffuser built into the light which is pretty cool another great feature about this light is it has aluminum housing so that's going to act as a heat sink and can set up in minutes um, as far as the par on this guy it says 750 par that seems pretty crazy um, very little evaporation so the lid is going to keep the water inside the tank so that's pretty awesome uh, which a lot of uh, the problems that you can have with a pico reef tank is swaying in the parameters and if you have a lid that's going to uh, reduce the evaporation it's going to help keep a lot of those parameters stable and has a silent operation and then it kind of goes into uh, some of the spectrum here as well as the par readings which is pretty crazy uh, to think that there's 750 par on this so obviously um you don't want to put you know sensitive light sensitive corals directly under this light because uh, that could be a problem all right so we got some colorful packaging on top oh I'm having a hard time with my hands lately uh user's guide a lot of stuff on here that's good we'll have to take a look at that we got the red model that is pretty slick that is way better than what I expected. Way better than what I expected. Our dimmable light, so we have control over the whites and the blues. That's awesome. And our plug, so this kind of serves a dual purpose here. And is that all of it? That is all of it. This is um, definitely, try not to bang it around too much, that is quite the diffuser right there. If you were ever going to have a kitchen Pico tank, this would definitely be uh, the right color. That's a pretty vibrant red there. We have the ability to control the blues and the whites, which I am absolutely stunned by. I really didn't think that that was going to be a feature included with this light, I figured it would just be like a kind of a turn on and turn off deal. Uh, but that's a, that's a nice, nice surprise there. Got a little bit of a pigtail here. It is connected now. All right. Thought that was cracked for a second. That's the way it's designed. It's interesting. All right, so this is way more than what I expected. We'll go ahead and get an extension cord over here and plug this bad boy in. All right, so we got our cord, get it plugged in, and let's, let's start off with the white first. So we have our dial here. That is an absolute ton of light. Oh my God, I can't see anything. That's just the white spectrum. All right, now we're messing with the blues. All right, that is that is completely open. My eyes are burnt out of my head. That is so bright. Oh my God. That is a good color. Wow, is that a good color. I know with filming and lights and cameras and trying to pick up the blues, I have that maxed out pretty much on both spectrums the white and the blue and that's that's a really aesthetically pleasing color right there i'd say that that is somewhere in the ballpark of 15,000 calvin probably even more towards 20,000 calvin and that's with the whites turned all the way up and then you can really turn those down all the way and that's a really uh dark dark blue right there so I'm very impressed with this light. That's a solid little deal right there. This is way more than what I expected. The Pico Pro. All right, so 
right now, I'll go ahead and unplug that because I can't see anything. Uh, right now, whew, all right, a little better. Right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna run over to uh, Walmart and get the jar for this lid. And the jar is the Anchor Harbor. Uh, it's available at Walmart. I've also found it on Amazon as well. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna run over to Walmart and uh, pick up the jar that we need for this Pico build. All right, we're back and I have the jar and it's a lot bigger uh, than I anticipated. When you think of a two gallon jar, you really don't think of um, something quite this big, um, but it's pretty big. I tried being preemptive before I start messing with the plastic. Uh, I, start, I tried being preemptive uh, when I found out that I was gonna be doing this build. And I actually bought the uh, one gallon version by accident and found out relatively quickly after doing a little bit more research that this was definitely not going to be the one that works. But the wife's gonna be happy uh, with a new cookie jar or the kids will be happy with a new cookie jar. And we have the, I don't know if the camera's gonna be able to pick that up or not. Here is the uh, specs on this jar if you are looking to pick one up yourself um i have looked it up on the internet it is available at walmart.com it's also available on amazon uh, but you're gonna pay a lot on the walmart.com for some reason um when i went to the store it was only 13 bucks on the website it's like 20 bucks and some change um and then on amazon it was kind of in the middle i found one on there for about 20 bucks so um so it's a pretty decent sized pico reef tank um i haven't opened it up yet and i haven't put the lid on yet but I'm pretty impressed with the overall size and i think this is going to be something fun uh, to work with as far as setting up and getting going uh, so i'm going to go ahead and remove this plastic right here and then fit the lid on and then we'll see what we got with that thought that was a seal for a second but it's just some cardboard to protect the uh, glass boom right there look at that that's awesome i guess one thing that i kind of have um as a question which i'm going to be able to test out is how well this led light is going to hold up over the long term with uh, all that moisture that's going to build up in here you could literally put uh any type of goby in here or even a, a fire fish or two in here and you have no worries about that fish jumping out because that that actually fits on there pretty snug uh, so we're gonna go ahead and plug this back in i'm gonna keep the lights on that is very cool all right guys so uh, we're going to be building ourselves a little Pico reef tank with the Pico Pro LED light. As far as Pico reef tanks, and I've been doing a lot of talk about this lately, um, the one concern that most folks should uh, definitely be aware of if they're going to start a Pico reef tank is a small vessel is very, very hard to keep. Uh, stable and I don't I don't want to sound like I am kind of being an old-school reefer here um, But for the most part a smaller vessel is going to have things happen in it much faster Than a let's say a 220 gallon aquarium a 220 gallon aquarium is going to be much more stable than something like uh, this two gallon aquarium and I would say you know one of your biggest battles that you would have if this lid didn't sit right on top like it, as it does uh, is water evaporation that would cause a lot of uh, fluctuation in the salinity it would cause a lot of fluctuation 
in the parameters and ultimately be a ongoing battle. As far as the other side of things, the type of corals and the type of uh, invertebrates and fish that you would keep in that, a lot of research needs to get done prior to starting a Pico reef tank. You need to find out what fish is going to be acceptable in here and really with a two gallon aquarium, you're probably limited to maybe one or two small gobies uh, for, you know, to be on the safe side. As far as invertebrates, Really, you know, you can put any, a couple of shrimp in here. I think a really good shrimp that would be um, ideal for a Pico reef tank is a sexy shrimp or even a harlequin shrimp. Um, those are, you know, kind of interesting critters that you could put in something small like this that you're gonna be able to see quite often. And as far as corals, you know, you need to have corals that are very forgiving. You wanna have uh, your softies such as zoanthids, mushrooms. Make sure that you do your research if you're going to attempt putting together a Pico reef tank. Now, as far as the Pico Pro, I am very, very impressed with this light. I think that it is absolutely uh, phenomenal and really has made uh, this very cheap um, glass jar very interesting. I absolutely love the ability uh, to be able to change the intensity and mess with the spectrum a little bit. I really thought that what we were gonna be getting with the Pico Reef Tank is literally a plug and play and you get what you get. But with this light, you're actually gonna have the ability to tune it to your liking, which I really, really like about this light. All right, folks, that's gonna do it for our look at the Pico Pro. If you are interested in, in doing a little bit more research on this light or even pick one up for yourself, there's gonna be a link in the description below. Thank you.